we're again talking about surface area. So very quickly, surface area is when we find the area of each face or each side of a solid, a three-dimensional solid, and then add up all those areas. Okay? So the surface area is the area of all the surfaces of that solid. This time we're going to look at non-rectangular prisms. Okay? So here's an example of a triangular prism. I also have a hexagonal prism here. That remember, anytime you have a prism that is not a rectangular prism, you're going to have two bases that are not rectangles. So with the triangular prism, I have these two triangles. Okay? All of the rest of my faces are rectangles. Think back to your nets. With my hexagonal prism, I have a hexagon, a hexagon, and then every other face is a rectangle. Okay? So think of that when you're finding the surface area because we don't really have a formula for these because there are many types of prisms that we could have. Okay? So here's this triangular prism. Okay? So remember, we have our two triangular bases and then we have three rectangles. That with a hexagonal prism, we have the two hexagon bases and then six rectangles. Hmm. See a pattern between the number of rectangles and the sides of a base? Triangle, we had three rectangles. Hexagon, we had six rectangles. That can help you. Okay? So with this triangular prism, I have... I need to find the area of each face, okay? So I have, I'm going to make little notes here. I have two triangles that are congruent, so as long as I find the area of one of them, I'll find the area of the other one as well. And then I'll have three sides, okay? I have this side, the one here, and then the one that it's sitting on. So I'm going to write rectangle, 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 okay, that I can do on the right, on the left, on the bottom, if I need kind of help to remember which ones I'm doing. So let's go through here and look for our dimensions. So for my triangle, okay, area of the triangle is one half base times height. So if I look at my triangle, I need the base and the height. Remember, base and height, they're always perpendicular to each other in a triangle. So here's my side length that will be my base. Here's the perpendicular height of that triangle. So I'm going to use 7 and 6 as the base and height of my triangle. So for the area of this triangle, 1 half times 7 times 6 will be 1 half of 6 is 3. 3 times 7 will be 21. We're dealing with area, so it's centimeters squared. That's so weird too, sorry. Okay. Now, I want to look at this rectangle, okay? It will be that, again, area of a rectangle is length times width, or base times height. It will be 8 by 7, so that area will be 8 times 7, which is, sorry, I'm bad at multiplication facts, 56. That's what I thought. Just wanted to check. Okay? So 8 times 7 was 56. And it's centimeters squared still. This left side, we're still going back. Each of these coming back will be 8, okay? Because we're not going to have this 8, this 8, and then this 10. That would kind of jut these sides out a little bit, and it wouldn't be a prism. So this back side is going to be 8 by 7. This works because this is a isosceles triangle, because these two sides are the same. Okay? Actually, it's an equilateral triangle, so it makes it a little easier for us. So this left side over here is going to be 8 by 7 as well, so it'll be 56 square centimeters. My bottom will be 7 by 8, or 8 times 7, whatever you want to do that way. So that'll be 56 square centimeters. So I found the area of each of my bases. 
Now, or face it, sorry. Now I need to go through and add all of these up to give me my total surface area. Now, but remember, with my triangles, I have two of these. So instead of using 21, I've got to use 42 because that 21 was just the area of one of these triangles. So I want to take my 42 plus 56 plus 56 plus 56 and I get that my area is 210 square centimeters for this triangular prism.